I seem to have made it to the front of the queue. I'm not sure how, exactly how I've managed that. But... This is crazy. Well, I have been here for about 10 minutes, so I hope the suit's worth it. Not exactly sure how I've made it to the front of the queue. <laughs> Well, it looks like it's all about to start. All around this square, the square, you have the uh, guys selling the corn and the chestnuts. And um, I just walked past this place and it smelled amazing. They've got this huge vat of soup. And I thought, I'll go over and uh, buy some soup. Ask them how much it was, it's free. So I thought, yeah, that's, that sounds good to me, free soup. I've been to the for 25 minutes. Uh, I can't leave, I'm at the front of the queue. God knows when they're going to actually start serving this stuff. It appears we may have some action. Well, I've been stood here 25 minutes. The local politician guy is going to get the first one, isn't it? Good photo opportunity. Is this guy ever going to put any soup in this cup? <laughs> no, stirring again. It's actually put some in. We appear to be in business. <laughs> Tourist, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't first, but I was in the first five, which isn't bad for a tourist. So let's go and sit down and uh, see what it's like. Watch me go and bloody drop it. Oh, it took me half an hour.
İstanbul Sivas Dernekler Federasyonu ister Kedir düzenlemesi olduğu Maltepe Etkili 3 altı Mart tarihleri arasında 4 gün sürece Kültür Sanat Festivali ise Sivas Dönü'nün <gülüyor> dostlarınızı bekliyoruz. Hep birlikte Maltepe'ye. Haydi Sivas. Just need some free bread. You can see how many people uh, are queuing up for the free soup now. People walking away with uh, a nice free portion. Smiles on their face. So the answer to the age-old question, what is the best soup in the world? The answer is free soup. The other day when I crossed the Galata Bridge, I walked up on the uh, road along the top where you can see all the fishermen. And, uh, but you can't actually walk underneath. And I think there's like various restaurants and stuff, so it's much quieter down here. I guess if we keep our eyes peeled, we'll uh, be able to see fish being pulled out of the water. Just seen a double catch over here, in fact, here we go. I'm in a restaurant called Bit Lisa. I think that's how you pronounce it and I came here last night and had a mixed kebab and it was absolutely wonderful it was about five pounds for like this huge plate of three different types of meat and you've got different types of bread on there salad it was just stunning the best meal so far in Turkey so I've decided to come back again and have a pea day which I've not had yet so I've gone for the mixed pea day which is uh, apparently filled with minced meat and it's also got cheese in there and some um, Turkish sausage so they've got a sign because you go in in there and it, it says that there are 12,400 restaurants in Istanbul and for the past three years this one has finished in the top 10 on TripAdvisor and other travel sites having had the food last night I can see why to be honest so I'm back again it's even cheaper this meal it's probably i think it's going to cost me about four or five pounds for the whole thing i've ordered a pea day some fries and uh, an Aryan to drink and yeah i'm ready for this so yesterday my meal came with this which is some kind of dip i'm not exactly sure what's in it it's got a little bit of a cake not much so there's some chili in there a bit garlic here as well maybe some eggplant tomatoes but that's really really good and this weird kind of tasteless fruit thing I don't know what it is is it a fruit is it a veg I have no idea uh, it also came with uh, bread and some kind of uh, uh, baked onions um, no bread today no baked onions but I think that's because I'm having pea day so bread would be uh, uh, too much I think but I have got a lovely bowl of fries and it's a good bowl as well and they're really nice fries So here we go then, the mixed pide. I've also got it with a uh, hyman. You don't sell alcohol here. It's so nice, very creamy, but also a little bit sour. Right, let's give the, the mince meat one a go. It's really good, the bread's really light. It's got a weird kind of, almost reminds me of tuna. So it's not just mince meat, there are peppers and um, Maybe even some papers in there. <laughs> I think I'm just going to end up coming here all the time. So good. And all of this will cost me less than five pounds. 